MPE stands for MIDI Polyphonic Expression. It allows players to do multi-dimensional playing. Key pressure or polyphonic aftertouch is one of the dimensions. MPE controllers translate players' movements and output MPE control messages. They do not make sounds by themselves. MPE-compatible synthesizers and modules accept MPE control messages and convert to sounds. They can be hardware or software. Instruments that provide both an MPE controller and a sound engine gives you great flexibility, which the Hydrosynth does. You can play it independently, play it with another MPE controller, or use it to play other MPE-compatible synths and modules with a polytouch keypad and a ribbon strip. If your door supports MPE, you can even alter your playing to get some dramatic results. You can always refine the automation envelopes and preview the outcome from Hydrosynth right away. Of course, you can even layer other MPE compatible synths on top, like with the compatible instrument devices in live or plug-in instruments or even other hardware synths. To track and play back Hydrosynth with MPE through Ableton Live, turn local off. Turn aftertouch on and turn MPE on in the Hydrosynth system setup menu. The ribbon strip gives you an extra control of pitch in MPE mode when it's set to the pitch band mode. Although it is a monophonic controller which influences all active notes, it is still a fun tool to add to your playing. Connect the Hydrosynth to the computer with a USB cable. In Ableton Live, open up the Link Tempo MIDI tab in Preferences. Make sure you have Track and MPE turned on for Hydrosynth's input and Track turned on for its output. Select Hydrosynth as the MIDI track's input and make sure the output runs back into the Hydrosynth. Load the external instrument device into the track and select Hydrosynth as the receiver. Make sure to select MPE on the second drop-down menu. Select the audio input channels that receive audio from the Hydrosynth. Now the Hydrosynth is integrated into the live set. You can start tracking and editing the recorded notes with MPE. Now we can get creative on the recorded automation envelopes. can layer another instrument by feeding the same MIDI clip to another MPE device. Let's place the external instrument in rack and create another chain with a live instrument device. In the instrument device, navigate to the MPE tab and set up the modulations to taste. Thank you. 